the run he's got going here. And Mike Landry goes to the lead. But Ellinger Jr. coming right back at him. Paul Tracy sits in third. Emerson Fittipaldi fourth and then Greg Moore. Now Tracy's going to try a little Al as well. Al comes very high off the corner. And Tracy almost gets into him. They're side by side. Tracy going for second place. Tracy has second. Al Jr. must have some kind of a problem. The car's not handling the way it was right before. So this yellow and it changes is what he didn't want. But look at Al. Al tries to get him on the outside. Going into three. Battle for second. Michael Andretti pulls away. I think what happened was that Al did oh, oh, Greg Moore. Greg Moore, you saw him at the top of your screen. He made it sideways, he but he made it into the pit area, and the yellow comes out. I think Al Jr. did not get his tires back up to temperature, and he was nursing them through there. He didn't have the grip that Michael did. Well, Greg Moore lost it, turned into the pits for a while. I thought he was headed straight for the wall, and got it safely under control, went through the pits, came on through, but they put the yellow out at the 197th lap of 200. Cross flags next time by. And I think we, we're going to see one Will lap. Al want to do the reverse of what Michael just did to him. This is going. That's the marks that Greg Moore left when he lost it coming off of four. Boy, is that great car control or what? Uh oh, and here we may be able to see what happened. Look at that all the way up at the end. He's coming off of four totally sideways. And that's what scared me. Great slide. But now, what is this set up for the end of the race? A one-mile sprint with Michael Andretti having to defend first place. If they get the cross next time around. And Al Hunter Jr. and Paul Tracy both going to be on the attack. And Al's going to come up and say, now, Michael, Here's what we'd like to do. Would you mind moving just a few bits to the left? Boy, now what do you think that Michael's adrenaline's going? Look at this, great car control. Wow. Great presence of mind to get off and get up that pit lane. That kid is spectacular. He is. They will get the white flag and the green together. Wow, it's going to be great. What? All, all the maneuvering is happening right now. Watch them. It's all down to this. But remember, you can't pass till you get to the line. That's Sorry. right. But Michael, as we saw, pass going into turn one. We're coming off the of turn one. White and green together. Michael Andretti into one. Al Unser Jr. and Paul Tracy trying to catch him. Boy, Michael got a good run back to the green. Well, I don't they're going to hold it right through it. the next corners. And the yellow comes out again as they come to the checkered flag. So the yellow comes out as they come to the checkered. Michael Andretti takes the win under a yellow flag. Something happened down there in the first turn as they came back to the green, but uh, a bit anticlimactic. We'd hoped for a run all the way, but the yellow came out while they were in the uh, in the third turn, actually, and wisely, they all got off of it. Parker Johnstone had contact with the wall in turn one, but Michael Andretti takes the win. We'll update you on Parker, and when we come back, we'll also be able to talk to the winner and the combatants in the Miller 200. There's a fine line of motor oil separating your car's engine parts that's as little as a thousandth of an inch. But friction and heat can make motor oil become volatile and vaporize, weakening its ability to protect expensive parts. Texaco Haviland Formula 3 is formulated to control volatility, fight vaporization, and provide complete engine protection, no matter what you drive. Add more life to your car. Take it to the stars. With new spark plugs, you get improved performance for a while. But only Bosch Platinum has a pure platinum center electrode that's heat-fused, so Bosch Platinum reaches its self-cleaning temperature faster for full engine power and improved fuel efficiency over a longer performance life, which means you'll replace a lot of other things before you change your Bosch Platinums. Bosch Platinum, the ultimate spark plug. The road to IndyCar racing starts at the Toyota Atlantic Series. 
past champions like Ray Hall, Andretti, and Sullivan have taken this very same route. That's why Toyota is committed to the Toyota Atlantic Championship, because we may not know who the next series champion will be, but we know where he's headed. Maybe it's because their frames are welded instead of bolted. Or because their decks are stamped from a single piece of steel. Or maybe it's the fact that they have the highest resale value in the industry. Oh, hey, I always wanted one of these. Thanks. But the truth is, when people are asked what kind of lawn tractor they'd like as a gift, most say the same thing. If you think things have slowed down at the 15th Precinct... Make love to me. Think again. This summer, they're unstoppable. NYPD Blue, ABC Tuesday. 32nd win of his career, and the second one-mile oval of the year goes to Michael Andretti, Jackaroot. And he goes ahead of Al Lincer Jr. with 32 victories, but Al, Al has came over and congratulated you on your win. But tell us about that restart when you made a run after him and just dispatched him like some yesterday's trash. I, I was surprised, a little bit surprised anyway. I was just on it, you know. Uh, I guess that new rule really helped me. <laughs> I was one of the ones complaining about it, but uh, it helped me. So, uh, you know, like, what can I say? It was just uh, the guys did a great job. They beat they beat little Al out in the pits, and uh, and the car was just really good, you know. He made the right choice on the tires for most of the race, but then our tires came in in the end. When you had that great pit stop that gave you the position in front of Al Jr. on that last stop, what does that do to a driver when he has that kind of confidence in his in his pit crew? Well, that's everything, you know. Those guys are what make me look good, for sure, and uh, and they did it. You know, they got me a position on the track, and, uh, you know, it was just great. Hey, back-to-back -back mile wins. It looks like you're the master of the miles now. Yeah, we need a few more, I guess. <laughs> Let's check in with Gary Gerald so these guys can celebrate. Well, here's Al Unser Jr., and yeah, racing doesn't get much better, but when you're second in a situation, I know it's a bitter pill. Was it the fact that you went on the primary, the harder compound tire, and he was on the option? Yeah, that pretty much saved him, and then, uh, you know, of course, the way we're running our new yellows nowadays, that wiped out all those lap cars that I put in between us, but, uh, you know, it uh, it helped for a great show and all that kind of stuff, and uh, and I was running the harder compound good years, and, and it, you know, obviously, it was, you could tell it, you know, it helped me during the race, but then, you know, to have a quick restart like that in a trophy dash, I ain't set up for that. I'm set up for the long run. So maybe, maybe this is the not appropriate time to ask. But do you like this new rule change? I think it was a heck of a show. I lost the race today because of it. But um, you know, had it not been that case, there would have been a bunch of lap cars in between with 10 laps to go. You'd have pretty much had an idea who was going to win the race. And in fact, the way that we're doing it now, second place has that shot. And, of course, the championship, which has got a long way to go. You make a giant stride in that respect today because Jimmy Vassar and his team struggled. Yeah, you know, I don't uh, I don't know about that. You know, I wanted to win today, and uh, and that's the only thing that mattered to me. And and, uh, and what can I say? You know, the, the yellows bit me. Thanks, Al. Now, his teammate, Paul Tracy, third. He's with Jack. And, Gary, what a run Paul Tracy had there. Tell us about your theory on that restart because you really took everybody's breath away. Well, I'm real good on cold tires, and I knew Emerson had a little bit of a vibration, and, uh, you know, we didn't have the handling there on the Marlboro car. I went a little conservative because I was real loose this morning on the green track, and I just had too much push the whole race, and, hey, those restarts are, they're a lot of fun. You get a chance to be right there with the guy and, and get an advantage on the start, and uh, we came up a little short. I got Emerson, I got Al, but he was a little stronger than me, but it was overall, I think it was a great race. Entertainment seems to be the, the key word now for you guys. You want to entertain the crowd. Well, I mean, it's uh, if you're leading, it's not that much fun being, you know, having everybody close in on you. But if you've got a chance to strike, uh, it's a great, great race. And I, the fans were going nuts. I could hear them over top of the cars. And, you know, I think it provides great, great racing. And Paul looks like the goatee is going to stay at least until Detroit. An ongoing battle between he and Brian Herta. The Herta shaved his already. Paul Tracy's going to shave his at the first win. We've got much more from the Miller 200. We'll be right back. Stay there, boy. Hey, Uncle 
get the beer. When just a cold one isn't cold enough, crack open the refreshing taste of cold filtered Miller Genuine Draft. Cold filtered Miller Genuine Draft. Stay cool. The new Kawasaki Vulcan 1500 Classic, with the biggest V-twin ever to hit the asphalt, you've never felt anything like it. Hey, where's the kids? It's just you and me tonight. And chicken marsala. Your favorite. Oh, but it gave me heartburn last time. Not tonight. But it's too late for Pepsi I see. The package says you've got to take it an hour before eating to prevent heartburn. I know. Why should I have to wait an hour to eat? Forget that hour stuff. I got you tiny bit HB. Says it prevents heartburn at half the time. So I can take it now and not get heartburn? Yeah. I can't wait. <laughs> Tagamet HB, advanced prevention of heartburn in half the time. The Miller 200. This ABC Sports exclusive brought to you by the Miller Brewing Company. Proud sponsor of the Miller Racing Team. We race for beer. Texaco Haviland Formula 3 motor oil. Controls volatility and fights vaporization. Toyota Motorsports, our minds are always racing. And Firestone, America's tire since 1900. Back at the Milwaukee Mile, here's the unofficial results of the run. Uh, Michael Unser, Jr., Paul Tracy, Fittipaldi, Greg Moore. As we'll look down through the entire order, it was Michael Andretti's 31st, 32nd win. Allinger Jr. is sitting back at 31 and Paul Tracy's best finish of the year. 24 cars were still on the track and running at the end of the race. Only four fell out. What's that do to the points? Jimmy Vassar still has the lead. Allinger Jr. is still second. And it's pulled that battle for the lead just a little bit away. And then there's the stories of the day. Moving up, well, we saw a lot of moving up. Most notable was Greg Moore, 18th to 5th. Tire Wars, Goodyear's out in front on this one. Rule changes, well, they worked for entertainment. The little Al didn't like them. And the package, well, the package is struggling. Well, and Sully Star, which is the, I've got to go with Michael Andretti. This is for the guy that did the best during the race, made the best performance. And it was him and his team. An honorable mention goes to Greg Moore. All right, some great memories from this weekend. We'll see you next in Detroit one week.